This camera is just cutting my hair there. It's a new vlog. I had shot an intro that I lost and I have to redo it. So it's on Sunday. Uh, this video started last week and uh, the date started. Now I want to redo the intro. I was headed to the spa. I was going to to do... What was I going to do at the spa? I don't even remember. I was going to do massage which I didn't vlog because I, I was so tired I really wanted to just rest Yani just have massage and sleep This day Yani I felt so bad because uh, this video was so cute Ugh, I hate the fact that I deleted it by mistake What happened is I was gifting the lady who does my waxing She's called Shiro So I had worked with a company previously that gifted me a pack of acrylic powders and liquid So I went to gift uh, the, the person who does my nails also, I was gifting Shiro, who does my waxing, uh, a wig. So I gave her, like, actually, the wig almost looks like this a uh, straight black wig. And unfortunately, I lost that clip. But anyway, that's what was happening that day. So, apart from gifting them, I did massage. So, this video will start from there, I think, where I'm going to massage or maybe after massage. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this vlog. It's gonna be interesting. You will see me again today, but much later. So we'll see you when you get here. Who am I talking to? Good morning guys, how is everybody? I hope you're fine. So it's the next day. Yesterday I went for massage. It was amazing. I didn't vlog because as I said, I just wanted to have my time. So I don't take my car when I'm going to town, so I just Call the cab. I'm going to do my braces. It's been December, January, February. I haven't done. I haven't retained my braces. So they are so loose. I can see my teeth spacing. It's so bad. So I need to go and get that fixed. So we are going to Bush Smiles. Let's head out. As you can hear, the guy is outside. So let's just go. I'll catch you guys when we are there. Oh, actually, yeah, let me just tell you the plan. I'm supposed to go there. Uh, I'll meet my new business manager in quotes. I don't know how to name uh, that person. Then after that, I want to go for a facial. I think after my dental appointment, I'll come back home. Then I'll pick my car and go to my other errands. We'll see what to do. Anyway, let's head out. Talking to is somebody out there. Should I worry about who is in my head? I felt your heavy breath through darkness. The smoke is getting close to my bed. I cannot make a sound. Empty lungs. Okay. To call a new colors. Which are? Uh, he. Oh, I want that. This one is a mix below. Here. Mm -hmm. Room is filled with silence. We're alone and frightened. All we do is die. Throw away our name. Like a piece of paper. Gone and won't be found. And ooh, cause you were not, you were not, you were not wrong. And ooh, cause we are not, we are not, we are not one. You blow out the last ray of areas in cold ways. I'm dancing in the mess you left behind. Hello guys. So what's up everybody? I hope you're fine. I am fine. This is a catch up of my dental journey. So this is my fourth month since
hey guys good morning it's the next day and you can see i'm in my wig lines and i look sleepy but uh i'm here for um, for a facial uh, i just learned that works glam actually does facials i didn't know that so i'm here to do a facial you remember in my previous vlog i was looking for a spa for facials i just didn't know the spa that i come to wax actually does the facials so we'll be doing excuse me also i booked a session and i'm here for for that so we'll go in and do my facials hopefully by the time i'm out i'll be looking more lively because i look like someone who's about to go and sleep but anyway yeah, that's what's up so let's go work on my face we're done I fell asleep halfway but can you see how clean my skin looks yeah my skin looks so clean I'm really glowing so let me dress up and catch you guys yo I'm so sleepy I'm so sleepy but I love how clean I look Guys, these are scented uh, roses through flowers. So these ones are called Lady Killer. You see the way they look small? When you open them, they are, they are so big. So I picked that. So I want to mix mine with these. So I picked these. This is how they look from here. Then look at that. The difference is so crazy. It's so big and they smell so nice. So this is Angu Zina Itwa. Prince Jordania. Okay, guys, pronounce the name by yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I shall not. <laughs> so, 
So what makes Nayo pink, Cindy? Yeah. Okay. Need what? Romantic, Romantic antique. antique. I hope some some of the right things. <laughs> so guys, when you're coming, you can tell them to mix for you how you'll see mine if that's what you prefer. They smell amazing. They smell so good. So this is something new they're introducing, which is uh, scented flowers, stroke roses. They have a lot of colors. There's orange, pink. This is, I don't know which color this is and it's so cute. There's white. There's so many colors. There's this. This is the one I picked. This looks so cute, guys. Imagine this brown. It's so cute, the pink, this purple, the ayo. This is my next uh, bouquet. Eh, na melecha variety. Hey guys, good morning. How is everybody? I hope you're fine. So it's the next day. It's uh, early in the morning. Yo, I'm feeling so lazy and I have to do a lot of things. So first things first, um, I have a meeting with uh, Maureen Bandari. Uh, at the uh, shop uh, Bandari Beauty I will take you guys with me you'll see secondly after that I'm supposed to have a lunch with uh, a friend of mine so I need to do those two things and uh, that lead there's something else oh yeah I wanted to talk about uh, the facial so uh, when it comes to facial at uh, waxed glamour I just thought I should make this clear they are not uh, professionals for skincare so like they don't have the machines for for like doing hydrafacials and all that so they just do the basic one for scrubbing and just applying moisturizers in that like the basic the most basic one so if you want a deeper whatever i would say try somewhere else but if you're just maintaining your skin you can definitely try them out so let me tell you guys my forehead rashes are just worsening can you see i don't know what's going on but they're getting they're, they're they're becoming more and more but good thing is uh i've heard good things about bandari beauty they take you through uh your skincare whatever your skincare journey up to your goal uh step by step like they scan your face they uh, recommend treatments and all that until you now achieve your goal and now they help you maintain that goal so hopefully once we close the meeting we'll start working together because i really don't want this uh to become permanent on my face like i'm ever having like two rushes on the forehead so yeah i hope uh, we'll get a solution to that but i'm super excited uh for today's meeting also i oh i remember so i have a zoom zoom prayer meeting not a business meeting a prayer meeting with uh, the my group members i'm usually in a fellowship group where we usually pray and share scriptures together so i want to do to hop on to that it's at 10 a.m so i'll get ready hop on to that immediately i'm done i'll head out and go to the meeting so yeah let's do that i'll catch you guys when i get to maureen bandari's shop or maybe i'll drive with you so oh i haven't told you the place we'll be going for brunch is a new hotel it's called ukwetu ukwetu I don't remember but the restaurant is called Meko. It's very very new. So I'm super excited. We haven't reserved but I hope uh, it's open to the public like uh, we can just walk in. Anyway, I'll catch you guys. Uh, bye guys. So see you. I wanna close my eyes and go back Play and then uh, break out on you on your forehead uh, most likely to break out on your cheeks and the forehead Hey, how are you? We used to be so strong Our pleasure The pigs are perfect oh, now Yeah, she looks so great cold So you're fine And 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 so you're fine
So catching up with the video first. So I was on my way home and I decided, you know what, let me just go to the gym and just sign up because why not? I'm not really in the space of, oh, I want to lose weight, oh, I want to do this. I just want to have that routine of something I need to do every day and make sure I do it. I think that will teach me to have like um, discipline. Yeah, so I signed up for three good months. I don't know how many times I'll go, but my target is at least... Five times a week, on a good week, six times. So Marcy and Reina will be coming to my place pretty soon, in a few days, because they'll be going for midterm. And of course, Marcy cannot let any holiday or midterm pass without her coming. So it means I need to do like a serious shopping. I haven't shopped, like I haven't done food shopping, like serious ones. So I need to now stock up the fridge. So I'm thinking of going to the mall today before then after after shopping i'll come back and now go to the gym i think that's that's what we'll do today just take a lot of my braces okay they feel so tight but i'm taking painkillers i was told uh the pain will go down in a few days so hopefully that will be i hope that will happen but i'm supposed to go back to my dentist in two weeks so this time they gave me a shorter period because i think they need to tighten it again because they're now rotating so it's quite uncomfortable and painful actually i was so swollen yesterday but it's going down and i'm also taking painkillers hopefully it will go down in a few days as they said so yeah that's what's up that's what i've been up to i've missed you guys this time i know you won't see a vlog in quite some time because i haven't been vlogging consistently but you know sometimes let me tell you being a vlogger is not easy because can you imagine shooting every single day not just every single day every single thing you do you have to have a camera on your face so sometimes it's quite tiring and you need to like put down the camera and breathe in breathe out then go on so i, I haven't been vlogging like consistently but i'm still vlogging you know here and there so let's go shop then after that we'll go to the gym later in the day and i'll catch you guys uh, maybe tomorrow. I'll talk to you like one on one, maybe tomorrow. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he sort of answers? What's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance?
hello guys what's up everybody how you all doing i hope you're fine it's another day i've been a bad bad vlogger i've been a very bad vlogger i'm ashamed of myself totally but it's a new day marcy and reina are here marcy say hey hey reina hey yeah they're here so here's reina <laughs> so we are going out for swimming i've just come from the gym and uh, I decided, you know what, it's quite hot outside, so let's just go out for swimming. Plus, they won't be here for long because the midterm is quite short. So we might as well just do it today. They came in yesterday, by the way, I didn't say. So let's go and uh, have fun. Hey my loves, what's up everybody? I hope you're fine. So I just thought that uh, we need to catch up because this vlog has been all over the place and you don't even know at this point what's happening, I think so. But when I'm editing, I usually try to make the story to align like I usually try and make it if something doesn't make sense I just don't include it but I want to catch up on what has been happening in my life lately because I've not been very consistent I'm hoping you will see this vlog in at least two days I need I need to to release this vlog in two days so anyway this is what's uh, what has been happening so I signed up for gym I actually signed up for two no not two actually I signed up for three good months, so I have like a three month membership, which is really motivating and I'm actually not feeling pressured. I'm not good with working with pressure. When something feels like, yo, I need to finish, yo, you need to do, I just, my, my, my brain blocks. So the fact that I know I have three months, even if I don't go today, I have tomorrow, that, that's motivating me. And my goal is I want to be going at least five to six times a week and yeah that's my goal for so far so good this is the first week so we will see as time goes so that's number one we are going to gym number two uh Marcy and Rena came and yesterday we had gone to to the pool we went to trademark so this is actually i want to answer some questions that might arise from yesterday's clips so we went to trademark and um Trademark swimming is 2,000 for adults and 1,000 for kids. So for Marcy and Rena it's 1,000 bob and uh, for me it's 2k. And for food, generally they have, they close that restaurant, that, that restaurant that's usually up there that sells seafood. So they're, they're starting from uh, the restaurant that's usually on the second floor, which is called, I think, Harvest. So the food is generally not pricey, so you can totally go there with your kids and enjoy. They have uh mocktails fresh juice sodas for your kids if you're going with uh kids so i think i've answered everything that maybe i didn't mention yesterday because i had said i'll talk about it uh what else what else oh i had i just ordered a new gym set and they're so tiny guys so this is a challenge to me i won't return them what i'll do is i'll work out until they fit me so that's a challenge i need to lose weight for them to be comfy in my body uh yeah i think that's it is there anything else i'm supposed to do a photo shoot which i don't know if it will be in this vlog or the other the next one 
so i don't like having repetitive vlogs that's why i have not been vlogging really consecutively because some days i'm just doing things that you guys are used to seeing me do but i hope you're still enjoying the vlog though <laughs> so yeah that's what's up i think i'll catch you guys I'm going to the gym today, I still haven't gone. I was shooting a reel which I have just posted. But I usually do this. When I shoot a reel, I just edit instantly and post it so that it can just uh, leave my face. So I've just shot yeah, this. Yeah. The I've just posted it. Uh, I've just posted it like uh, I've just posted this video like two minutes ago. Hey guys, I haven't told you. Uh so I'm supposed to give out my card to the insurance company. They're supposed to to fix some things. And they're supposed to give me another car, and the car that they want to give you guys, mm, story for another day. When it's here, you will see it. So I don't know if I'll give it out on Monday. If I give it out on Monday, but I need to do the shoot, so I don't know. Uh, I think I'll catch you guys when everything aligns. So far, I don't know what what's the schedule for the next few days. Anyway, that's what's up. I think I have caught you up up to today. What's happening right now? So yeah, let's now. From now, I'll just vlog well so that I don't need to sit down and do these recaps oh i want to talk about something else uh i saw this comment on tiktok let me share let me read it out for you oh i was actually just randomly scrolling and i saw an apartment i used to stay in kitambo it was that duplex apartment for those who used to watch me from the other channel you remember that apartment i didn't stay for long but it was so pretty so so it's on i think that the this person is advertising it. So someone, Beauty Miracle, let me show you. This is the lady. Uh, okay, I can start here. Beauty Miracle uh, said, Kumbe na irofe alikuwa naishi kino, na vile alikuwa na nipea pressure na hii keja, akiwa na bebe. Number one, bebe is my husband, for those who don't know. Number one, my hubby never even stepped his foot in that apartment. So I don't understand what, what's her name again. Beauty miracle. For for someone who's giving herself that name, <laughs> she, she's a joke. In number one, my, my hubby never came to that house, which even if he came, that's okay. So uh, what I want to talk about now is the pressure part. I don't understand why this babe feels pressured by people online. I want you to know that this is my office. So I have never in my life wanted to give anybody pressure, like literally, I think for the people who have grown with me, they do know this, because it has been a journey. People who started watching me, Kitambo, have been inspired through me, and they're challenged to do better. So like my life has been like a gradual growth, gradual growth, so I have never really wanted to pressure anyone. And I want her to stop looking at influencers through content creators with that eye of oh I want to be this no 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 look at them and be like if this one can do this I can also do what I want because we don't have similar goals so I don't want to ever hear someone say I'm giving them pressure because it means I'm doing zero work me I've never wanted to be that girl who's pressuring girls people who want to pressure you they will go out loud shouting saying oh I can afford this you can't afford that but me I don't want to ever be that girl I'm not that girl and I don't want to because I want to inspire young generations I want to inspire girls who came from humble beginnings girls who came from I'm an orphan so I want to, I want to inspire those girls who don't have parents and they don't have supportive families to know that they can still do it on their own they just need to believe in themselves so for anybody, and I hope this, please, if you know this girl, forward this part to her and let her watch it because I think she's watching with the wrong, or maybe she just doesn't even know I have a YouTube. She needs to know who I am because I'm, I've never intended, intended to give anybody pressure. And I hope people will stop being pressured by people online. I don't know about the others, but for me, I never want to pressure girls because why? And another thing, let's talk, let's be realistic, let's talk actually. Let me tell you, this, this is something I had to learn. Like, I had to experience things to learn it. Fame comes, fame goes. There's a ripe time and then it's just... There's time you make a lot of money and then you just don't make it. Do not be deceived when you're making that huge bag that, oh, I can just spend it because tomorrow I'll still make the same money. Let me tell you, new Nairofes will come up. New, um, whoever, who's the biggest YouTuber? New Mr. What's the name, Masi, of that guy? Mr. Beast. A new Mr. Beast will come from the next generation and overtake us. So never, never be deceived that, oh, since I'm making this money, I can just spend it. I can go live uh, at this apartment. No, 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 no. Invest in things that will 
come back when you don't have that money to save you number one invest in businesses but if there's something i'm so proud of myself is my two businesses apart from content creation because i feel like it will reach a point that i'll be like you know what guys i love you but totals i can now survive and do everything i want because my businesses are running very well and they're making enough money for me so invest in businesses invest in properties if you're planning to have a family or have kids invest in that home invest in that um, save money for the school that you want them to go to in the future because i want my kids to have the best life ever don't be pressured to live from hand to mouth like you get the money today you book a flight you're out there you get the money today you buy the most expensive bag so anyway yeah, that's it i think i've talked too much let me go and i hope uh friends of miracle the beauty miracle will get the message to her because i think beauty miracle is not doing the right thing with herself that's my opinion she needs to change what she i think she's using internet the wrong way it won't it will actually harm her in a few years she needs to use internet for the right things she needs to look at people and feel inspired not pressured and i hope nobody nobody will ever look at me and feel pressured I, I wish there's a way I could just pick this part and drop it on TikTok and also on Instagram because I feel like there are people who don't watch my YouTube so they don't they don't get to see or hear some things that I, I want to say so I think I have to do like sh short forms of this and just post them but I hope this gets to even other people who are not beauty miracle don't ever feel pressured to, when you see people online move by your pace be inspired by them learn by their mistakes and elevate your life anyway i'll catch you guys later i think i've spoken too much i love how i look in this hair it's so beautiful anyway bye it's the next day guys and Masi and i oh rena left by the way uh she was picked yesterday rena cannot stay here for long she loves being around her mom so she stays here for a few days then wants to go back so it's uh, a new day i want to go out for breakfast with Masi. And go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah. We were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now. It looks so great, cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me. Artisan blend. The food! That's the best food I've had in a long time. Yani, that food, guys, I totally recommend. I recommend their food is a 10 out of 10. Uh, this is the one place that I can say aesthetics match the food. Perfect. What do you think? Hello? Very nice. Mm. So, I'm having iced tea. I'm so full, by the way. So we are now going to to no. We are going to Garden City. We'll be watching a movie with Masi. It's our movie date. I feel, movie date. Why? Well, I'm quite far. It's thirty minutes from where I am. So let's drive to Village Market. Not Village Market. To Garden City, and um, and we'll see which movie we'll touch. We don't have a specific one in mind. We're just trying our luck. I came with this caban, which is now eating my head. Is it eating? It's now so uncomfortable, so I'll just remove it. Oh, that feels good. Oh, my ears. Anyway, let's head out, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think, actually, let me just put this here in a bun. Stuck out in a out. So we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove. But I guess that's over now. 
Unfortunately or fortunately, we are here one hour before the movie, so I think we'll just go and buy time out there till our movie comes. So I have this tiny mirror. Guys, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I don't know if I had uh, complained about this perfume. I thought I lost it, but Masi just found it in the car. I was like, someone took my perfume. I thought it's at the car wash because I've lost two perfumes at the car wash. I was just like, I think... Uh, it got stolen at the car wash, but no, 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 it's here. Anyway, let's go in, let's go watch a wash. Let's go watch a movie. I don't know which one we'll pick, but I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. So I'm about to hop in and take a shower. By the way, let me tell you, this shower wasn't working for the longest. So this is what happened. Oh, I have two things to talk about actually. So this shower wasn't working for the longest time. It just stopped working for no reason. So I decided, you know what? Actually, I won't fix it. Let me try and be the cold shower girl. <laughs> Yo. I showered for three days. I can say that those were the dirtiest three days of my life because I was like, <laughs> one minute I'm out. I was really not taking time in the shower, but now it got fixed. So now it's back to hot water. Number two, let me tell you, yo, uh, but they tell me which kind of a person you are. When you get, uh, when someone sends you money by mistake, do you keep the money or do you return the money? So here's what happened. I was sending money to, to someone, 10,000 Kenyan shillings, that's about $80, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I sent money to wrong number by M-Pesa. So it went to Lydia Okonjo. Okonjo? Lydia Okonjo? Lydia something. I think she's a kissy. So I was like, oh my god, shit, I've made a mistake, so let me revert the money quickly. Guys, so what happens, let me tell those people who don't know. So there's an app called M-Pesa, it's like bank transfer. You can send money from one person to the other. So this one we use our SIM cards. You can transfer from my SIM card to someone else's SIM card and they can withdraw. So I didn't write the digits well. I mistook uh, some of the digits. So what happens, you can reverse the money. So guys, quickly I went to reverse star five, four, five, six. No, actually it sent a message to four, five, six. So I sent the message to four, five, six for reversion. Hey, who is Lydia? Who is Lydia? Within seconds, guys, it wasn't even one minute. Within seconds, Lydia had withdrawn my money. Lydia had withdrawn my money. I was so pissed. I was like, what? This is so unfair to the person sending money. You know, if it was school fees you're sending, you end the wrong number and Lydia has taken your money. If you imagine if it was your last coin, you're paying rent, you're paying rent arrears because uh, maybe you know, you, but then Lydia takes your money and she withdraws the money and blocks your number. Yo, I was like, yo, how evil can Lydia be? Yeah, Lydia, if you watch me, but it's my money that you stole. If the name read Esther, and you know you withdrew 10,000 Kenya chili, it's mine, reverse it. So uh, I went, I called Safaricom, and I asked them uh, if there's anything you can do because Lydia has withdrawn my money. And they said, uh, unfortunately, if the money has, with, has been withdrawn, which I think they should do something about this rule because I can imagine how many people lose their money. 
So if Lydia, they said, since Lydia has withdrawn the money, they can't do anything. Can you imagine? And I was like, what if you put it as a Fuliza or anytime she deposits, it comes to me or something of the sort. They were like, no, 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 we can't, we can't help you. Unfortunately, the only thing you can do is call Lydia and try and talk to her to give you your money. The Lydia who has blocked me, do you think she can give me my money? She will leave safari for me. Anyway, that's how I lost my money. So are you the kind of a person, now I'm asking you viewers, are you the kind of a person who takes the money when you get it and you're like, this is my luck? I'm a deal reverse it for me personally for me personally I would definitely reverse because as in send it back because you never know the person who did the mistake not even that like it's just right it's not your money it's that person's money they just wrote the number by mistake but anyway I usually say whatever goes around comes around in one way or another Lydia will lose that money or maybe God wanted to use me to get to Lydia maybe she had like a big problem that needed Solution and God was like, you know, Rofi, let's take some from you and keep it here. Anyway, that's what's up. So I lost money, which really hurt my feelings, but it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. However, you guys, my skin is really stressing me. Okay, I don't have like pimples, but this forehead, these two, two, two small, small things, I'm actually thinking, I mean, it's because I haven't dewormed in like, I haven't dewormed in one year. I think that will be the issue. So tomorrow, I think as I go to the, to the photo shoot, I will also deworm. By the way, speaking of which, uh, photo shoot will be early in the morning. Like I need to go and have my makeup done. I'm used to now doing my makeup. I, I'm so paranoid to have someone do my makeup because I feel like I've mastered my facial. Let me tell you, by the way, I feel like sometimes when makeup artists, I'm not saying that they do to do a good job. They do a good job. But sometimes uh, when they do makeup, like someone might not... Uh, be able to work with someone's facial features like they do the exact thing that they do to other people so it might not flatter your face that much. I have to be at the studio at 9 a.m. at 6 a.m. I can't do 6 a.m. of course. I have to be at the studio at 9 a.m. They do my makeup then we drive off to that place which I think is about a drive of probably uh, one hour. I think it's one hour or 40 minutes. Oh, I got the bath mask. I think I showed you by the way. I got a uh, bath mask. Finally, finally, finally. I have bath mask. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. getting my makeup done we are headed out yeah let's head out that's my makeup artist i'll tag him in the description box yo i'm so hungry and sleepy but i bought food which i'll eat on the way hopefully by the time we get there being energetic you know So guys we're here, you can see the, the studio team, there they are. Let me tell you, 
Tell me how the weather has changed this much. I don't even if you can see. It looks like it will rain in the next few seconds. And you know the place we are coming from? It was so, so hot. It's so pretty. So I've been told to come and change here. Oh, it's like a house, eh? Oh. And you make a papo? Ah, si sawa. Tachukwa. Ni change your room, I'm not sure. I've worn it. Uh, I think you remember seeing it in, in Dubai. But I didn't get a photo. So I decided, you know what? It's the right time to wear this. And just get done with it. Finally have a photo of it. Stats over now. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me. Mm. Silent treatment, this is what it feels like when your heart is shaking, when it bleeds. If it's over, just say it out loud. Say those words, go and just shout. Guys, we're finally done. We are a bit late, but it's still good. Masi needs to go and do her hair for tomorrow because she's going back to school. But you did well. It's a wrap. <laughs> Are you nervous? You're still nervous, actually. Anyway, so let me go change we them and you guys. Are.